Good morning all, happy Saturday, hope you're well, hope you're enjoying the autumnal energies that's outside. I am, I love it, I've actually got the door open, the cat's coming in and out. Um, that's probably the washing machine, well it is the washing machine you can hear in there, in the background. So hopefully it's not going to be too distracting for you, but it's nice and bright down here, so I thought I'd come down here. This is your general tarot reading, um, espresso, so espresso being the operative word there, espresso is touching on the quick energies of the day, could be touching onto tomorrow, you may relate to it, you may not, to see how it plays out for you, um, and your future cards are what we call a prediction, so don't try and figure out how, whens and whys, just listen to the reading and they go, okay, well, let's see how things go. The minute you try and figure it out is when you put a blockage on things, um, because then you'll try and by default try and make things happen um, and you can't make things happen all the time okay so with that being said let's see what is coming up for you first card for my questioners you are the questioners and it's a major arcana and it is the justice card coming up here okay so you are now experiencing if or you will be very very soon if not already um, balance okay the, this is all about the justice as it sounds um, so justice will be done so if anything's been done and towards then the universe will balance it out okay so rule by Saturn um, is the planet of karma okay so this is coming up quite nicely for you um, so if work life has been out of balance if you've been doing something you don't want to do but then you've been going after another job so just to be more suited to you that balance will be coming back in if you've been robbing Pete to pay Paul then you know that balance with regards to money will come in. And with relationships, the balance will be coming in because perhaps um, you've had to get to a, mi uh, sorry, a major arcana um, for you to um, understand how things work, to get your own balance back. Maybe you need to step back a little bit or maybe you need to um, let things play out, you know, and that, was a, that wasn't an orb, by the way, that was a fly. Um, let things play out, let things be, um, let people do what they want to do, um, you can't always control that um, and that's when the balance comes in for you quite nicely but remember what's done in the dark guys is always brought to the light, they don't feel like people get away with so much. Okay, that, that's nice, so from an outside influence situation, let's see what is coming in. Outside influence situation, you've got the page of swords. So when you start to get a bit of balance coming in, this can be somebody checking you out, noticing you on social media, somebody you already know perhaps, um, but this is basically, not like stalking, but seeing what you're up to. Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck there. So this is a brand new phase with regards to how you'll be feeling from the heart center. So that's nice. Um, so the Page of Swords could be somebody coming in uh, to message you when, you're, when you start to feel balanced, um, when you start to feel like, can hear it, um, getting in more control with yourself, with your surroundings, with your goals, visions, whatever that is. The Page of Swords is the sideline energy of just seeing what you're up to. Now, if this isn't somebody checking you out to see what you're up to, this would be um, a new opportunity coming your way with regards to learning something brand new. So if this card was suggesting that you're getting a balance with uh, new jobs, new whatever, um, this would be learning a new skill. Um, this would be also just learning, resetting your brain to doing something you've done for quite a while and then doing something else completely different. Uh, that could be a hobby. That doesn't have to be something where you're getting paid to do something. Um, but this turning the page of... Um, there's a freshness to this with the Page of Swords because it's using your mind in ways you haven't done before uh, but you're not starting at the very, very top. You're kind of working your way up sort of thing, which is excellent. And um, the journey is just as valuable as the destination, okay? So let's see what else is coming into your future position. Let's... I thought that was one then, but it wasn't. Let's see... What is coming in your future position? Let's have a look. What is coming up? The beautiful Empress. Both these cards, Justice and the Empress, are both ruled by Venus, uh, which is the planet of love. Oh, predominantly, it's the, it's all the self-love. So, 
Have you been not giving yourself enough self-love, appreciating yourself? It looks like it's all going to change anyway, uh, because the two majors are too strong uh, to be just nothing. You know, this isn't like middle of the road, could be, should be, would be, whatever, okay? So the justice and the empress would be suggestive um, that there is this beautiful change coming in for you. Nurture yourself um, as if you would. The pregnancy that is symbolic um, of the world you want to create, you would obviously look after yourself if you were pregnant. It's the same with whatever um, aspiration, goal, um, yourself that you have coming in here look after it you know nurture yourself mind body and soul um, and the empress will be coming in quite beautifully there is some healing to do uh, the moon here is suggestive of letting go releasing the old perhaps this is why you're feeling more justice more balance coming in um, this is a Libra energy don't have to be Libra, no, uh, to be benefiting from this energy. But this is nice because what seems to be uh, the Page of Swords um, is this new opportunity with regards to something new. The Empress is nurturing that something new, whatever that is, okay? Um, look after your minds. Read some books, you know, that you're really into um, because book reading is coming up here quite strongly. Um, journal, all these sorts of things where you're putting kind of thoughts or words um quite strongly into play um, so be mindful how you're speaking to yourself as well okay because that manifests itself so let's have a look and see an overall that was upside down bear with guys we don't have upside downs in uh, generals there's a lot in there isn't there three cards I think, I think that was the only one to be honest yeah Start again. Overall clarifier. Thank you, universe. Thank you. Now, I do want to point out, guys, um, at the bottom of the deck there, there is the Ten of Swords. So whilst it looks menacing, um, it could be you've moved on from whatever that end of the cycle, ending of a phase is. Maybe someone's hurt you. Um, it could have literally felt like being stabbed in the back. Um, well, not literally, obviously, but, you know, that scenario could have played out um, and this is where the balance is coming back in so that's more of an indicator to tell me where you've sort of come from a little bit um, and the clarify the overall is the two of cups so this is a meeting of minds um heart energy sorry not mine um and this is reconciliation so maybe this page of swords is somebody coming in to message you somebody who's been like noticing you uh, you could think they've forgotten about you all these sorts of things um, and somebody who you could have had a really strong connection with at the same time with the devil coming up there um, so that could be quite interesting and you know the toxic energies that come with the devil sometimes overthinking obsessing um, put that to bed as much as possible because it looks like um, it's going to be coming in here quite nicely for you so, so this is somebody either getting in touch or you meeting somebody um, with when it comes in from a love point of view um, if we are looking at it, if you're single, say, for example, um, this is a good omen for you that you are going to be soon to meet somebody um, who really kind of gets your heart connection energy. And that's really, really quite nice. On a business level, this would be the right colleague. This would be the right boss. This would be the right manager, whatever that is. Um, and they're just a, a beautiful co-creation with regards to the two of um, cups. It's not always about the two lovers type of thing. Although the lovers hasn't come out yet, um, we don't know. So let's have a look um, with all that, see how that's going to play out for you. That is for your Saturday. Maybe you'll meet this person tonight, who knows. Guys, you take care. Um, I am going to be doing my class tomorrow. So I know some of you have been asking where it is. It is pinned to the top of the page. It's in Bradford on, um, on Avon, in a place called Bradford on Avon Massage, um, and it will be there tomorrow, okay? So if you want to go, click going. Um, it's a small, cosy space, so not... Um, those, you know, if there's like 20, there wouldn't be enough room to have to be like kind of split out. So uh, if you are interested, let me know or just click going and to confirm your slot. Okay. Have a wonderful weekend. I will speak to you very soon and take care. Bye bye.